Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome to this video. There's a new Bloons TD Battles update out. So let's check this out. It says, put your opponent on ice on all the new Glacier Melt maps. So we got a new map with some prime water placement areas and plenty of space for farming. You'll need to keep a cool head to come out on top in this battle. It's the perfect place to find a new strategy after this round of exciting balance changes. Club members can also use the new sandbox mode to perfect, perfect their strategies. Alright, that sounds awesome. Hey, finally Professor Evil is back out. Been waiting. Um, but yeah, this update hasn't come out on Steam. It was released yesterday, like maybe like eight, 18 hours ago, 16 hours ago, on mobile. But it wasn't released on Steam, so I've just been sitting here waiting. And I tried to upload Professor Evil, and I wait, I see the countdown, and then it's not released on Steam yet, which sucks. But if we go onto Steam right here and we scroll up we can see the update 6.9 um patch note so let's let's read these okay so we're on to reddit right now official blooms td battles update 6.9 patch notes all right new features new map glacier melt a cool name dude new mode sandbox mode new single player mode for testing strategies single player mode for testing strategy yeah that's the sandbox mode uh, lives are unlimited, all towers and balloon scents are free and unlocked regardless of overall process or progress. Sandbox mode is available to club members in the battle school menu. New uh, black ruby chest added and cost 4 million keys to unlock and contains 300,000 medallions. So that's of course going to be a huge uh, change for grinding and a lot of people might want to grind for this. Anyway, balance changes, towers. Let's see here, we got the Cobra, uh, the left side Cobra upgrade two times, uh, increased from 550 to 650. Okay, alright, so the Cobra got a little nerf. Engineer, <clears throat> the 02 Engineer, cost reduced from 475 to 200. Okay, okay, I don't think a lot of people actually upgraded to the right side two times, but okay. And engineer sentries are now allowed to overlap other towers. Oh, nice, fair enough. Um, let's see. The force your engineer, the balloon trap, cash bonus reduced from 1.8 to 1.3. Okay, this basically means 1.8 is the balloon equivalent uh, amount of money you get from the engineer. So now instead of getting 1.8 uh, dollars for one red balloon equivalent, now you're going to get 1.3. So it's been reduced by quite a bit, which means you'll get less money from the engine. Or from the engine, you will probably get like 250. Nah, probably not 250. Maybe like 300, 350, 400. Anyway, the uh, 03 engineer's speed boost increased to 50% for both. En okay, so they're, they're buffing the right side of the engineer while nerfing the left side. All right, fair enough. Because nobody uses the right side anyway, so that might be a good thing. Spike factory, let's see. Is getting a buff 3 0 uh, cost reduced from 220 to 2k, and the 0 3 cost reduced from 3k to 2.7k. Uh, X4 spike storm cooldown reduced from 40 seconds to 30 seconds. Okay, so the cooldown is not gonna be as long, it's only gonna be half a minute, which actually makes the spike storm way more useful. Uh, 4x fixed an issue with the collision size of the mines. I didn't even know about that. Um, 4x explosion from mines will now apply 5 layers of multi-layering damage in addition to applying the burning effect. So there's going to be a burning effect. That's pretty cool. 4x mine explosion size now matches the 0, zero mortar. Oh, that's actually, that's going to be a way bigger uh, explosion because the old explosion was pretty useless. So actually the 4, uh, four zero is actually going to be viable now because it costs so much money that... You know, nobody ever bothers upgrading it unless it's the complete endgame. So that's pretty cool. Monkey Apprentice base uh, cost reduced from 550 to 500. X1 upgrade cost increased to 250 from 200. Okay, so we got a little bit of a buff and a nerf. Um, didn't really change much about the Monkey Apprentice. Um, so, yeah, I guess. Let's see, Super Monkey. Uh, the, what's that? That's the techno uh, technological Terra. Reduced from 25k to 20k. Honestly, I still think it's going to be not viable in arenas, but I mean, that's cool for late game players, I guess. Um, 1x peers increase now applies to the 4x4 weapons. Oh, okay, so they're actually buffing the technological terror. This is actually pretty cool. Balloon Chipper, 
four zero costs reduced from 550 to 5k uh zero three costs reduced from 3k to 2k yo balloon trooper is getting a buff x3 capacity increased to 36 from 12 capacity i i assume this means how many balloons it can hold or something i i have no clue but that seems awesome dude balloon chipper's getting buffed a lot dude holy dartling gun 4x cost reduced from five fifty five thousand to fifty thousand. Oh, okay so the ray of dune is gonna be cheaper and the left or the right side is also gonna be cheaper the o3 that is the rockets gonna be down to 6.5k all right so dartling gunner is getting a little buff as well let's see sniper x4 sniper attack cooldown reduced to 0 0.14 seconds from 0 0.26 x4 oh so the x4 sniper is gonna be that's the right side yeah okay so that is basically gonna be way faster or something if if the cooldown is being reduced to 0 0.14 from 0 0.26 okay so it's basically almost half the time it's gonna be twice as fast basically i think we will be testing this out um x4 supply drop cooldown reduced from 30 seconds from 60 seconds oh cash increased so random value between 1.5k and 2k okay so the x4 supply drop on a sniper is actually might actually be worth it keep this in mind it might actually be worth it ice monkey uh 4x upgrade now grants camo detection in addition to the weapon upgrade what ice is getting camo dude this is gonna be such a game changer i am telling you guys i swear right now there's gonna be a new meta Holy, all right, let's check the powers real quick. Super eco boost, income boost change from, or two, uh, eight times the round number. Improved eco boost to seven times the round number. Damage boost, duration reduced from 15 seconds, from, or two, 15 seconds from 18 seconds. Honestly, I don't think this is gonna make much of a difference, unless it's like late game, but most people only use damage boost when, because they have to immediately, and like three seconds later, they don't need it. Um, so I don't think it's gonna do much. Glue storm limited to two uses from three. Glue storm's getting above or a nerf. That's nice. Eco choke uses ink. Wait, duration reduced to four seconds from seven seconds. Okay, okay, this is actually a really good update. So you can only eco choke like one eco choke. So you have to you have to time it perfectly still, um, because you can actually waste your eco choke now. But you can't eco choke two uh, complete eco chokes. Like, you are two complete eco boosts. That's that's pretty nice. Uses increased to three from two. I actually, f this is fair. It makes it more balanced, I think. So, I'll take it. Camo regrow efficiency. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Camo and region upgrades are reduced by 40% from 25%. Okay, all right. Fair, fair. It's still useless, but fair. Quick shot redu duration reduced to 20 seconds from 40 seconds. That is really good. The quick shot used to be available for like so long, like 40 seconds. Now it's only gonna be available for, available for 20 seconds as soon as you activate it. So that's that's really good. Even though it's still not gonna make much difference, people can just wait and use it a little later. But yeah, road spikes better bundles. Blah 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 blah. This doesn't seem too interesting. Even though road spike, holy shit, best bundle is gonna have 50 spikes. Okay, that's actually quite a lot. Not gonna lie. Team Tower Stun. Stun no longer applies to newly spawned towers. Let's go. That is basically... Quick Shot and Team Tower Stun is basically going to be worthless now. As you can just get down a new tower and yeah. Nice. Well, not completely worthless, but yeah. Shield increases to 200. Okay, so Shield is going to be a little better. You know, that's fair. But you know what I want to do? I want to get straight into the game and I want to test out this new feature. So if I go to Quick Play, I believe. And... Oh, it's here. Okay, okay. Defense mode. Oh, battle school. Sandbox. Okay, here we here we have it. Let's check it out. Maps. Oh, I want to find the new map. We kind of have to, don't we? Now that it's out and stuff. Come on, give, give me my new map. <coughs> Let's see. Wait, did I miss it? Where is it? Oh, I'm blind. Okay, I found it. Glacier melt. All right, let's check this out. How does this work? Okay, so I can basically place down a tower. I can place down whatever I want. I actually want to test out the sniper real quick. Um, so, you know how the sniper was al always... Uh, okay, the supply drop. Let's... Wait, you, give me my ability. Thank you. What is this? Oh, oh, these are the towers. All right. And I can use my tower boost, and here's damage boost and stuff like that. Fair enough. Um... Okay, how do I send myself balloons if I want to? Oh, here we go. All right. 
Let's just for fun use this on a Moab. Watch how fast the sniper is now. The sniper can almost basically solo a Moab. The sniper can solo a Moab. Holy shit. The sniper. Alright, let's send infinite ceramics. Right. Alright, just a lot of ceramics. Let's see how this deals. Okay, it doesn't deal too well. It's still gonna take damage, but still, it's soloed a Moab completely because it can do so much damage to a Moab. That is actually. That is not gonna lie. That is actually insane. Uh, I do want to use the ability though. Why can I not use. Can I not use abilities? Apparently, I cannot use abilities in sandbox mode. What if I send a. Well, wait, what if I send a balloon? Can I then use abilities? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, but I have to send a balloon first. I cannot use hotkeys though. That that's a little that's a little strange to me. I have to drag them out manually. Um, but apparently the ice now sees camo. So let's see. Um, let's send camo region because why not? And send a lot of these. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous, but I do not believe the right side eyes uh, does anything. But um, wait, where's the where's the eyes? Okay, there it is. Wait, oh sorry, wrong side. This is not gonna work, right? Yeah, I kind of want the abilities down here, uh, but that I I guess I gotta get used to this. This is still pretty cool though. This is still pretty cool. All right. Um, and then the engineer. Wait, we can actually test this out real quick. Let's 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 see here. Let's delete that one. Put out the NG. This is actually gonna be like I think NG is probably gonna be the meta for this map. Not gonna lie. Um, either NG or like boat boomer could also work. I could, I could see that happening. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's send a bunch of these now. See how much money we're gonna get. Keep sending 347. Okay. We can keep sending 352 or 325. I mean 328. So between like 320 and 350 is what you're gonna be getting now with the new engineer um, nerf. Okay, all right. What else do we have? We also have the uh, this upgrade is gonna be way cheaper. Ray of Doom is gonna be 50k, and the right side. Anyway, what I actually want to see is the spike mines. So let's sell that. And let's send some balloons. Let's actually send a couple moabs. Let's send three moabs, because why not? See if it does anything. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, okay. That's pretty OP. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's get rid of that uh, on, on the ground there. Let's get another one down. Just for the fun of it. Look how actually OP it is. Alright, let's upgrade to the right side. Spike Storm. Does that did did Spike Storm get a buff? I believe, oh yeah, okay, look at the time, or look at the cooldown. Uh, apparently you have to send stuff. Let's send a few BFBs. Look at the cooldown, it comes back much faster. Alright, but apparently this is now super OP. <laughs> Which means, Spike Mines is actually worth getting now. So, that is, actually I kinda wanna, wait, get rid of this thing. I wanna, I, I wanna compare, okay, so if we get a Spike Mine down... Dude, I, I I swear to God, I can or spike ball factory. I can have fun with this all day. Okay, let's let's let it uh, let it let it do its thing. All right, and you know what? For the fun of it, I'll get down to spike mines over here. Spike mines is faster, I think, or are they equally as fast? I think spike mine is faster. Um, but yeah, let's send him two of these. Just see what the regular one can do without being spike mine. Okay, it could barely defend that. Holy, yo, Spike Mines is so OP now. Let's send a Moab and let's get down, or a BFB, I'm sorry. Let's get down two of these, actually. See if two of these can defend a BFB. If they can, I, I don't know, that could be sick. We could maybe even get the Sniper to help out. Dude, I could see so many potential strategies with Spike Mines and, and Sniper and stuff like that. What? It just obliterated it. Wait, 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 okay, I, I gotta send a few of these right now to clear up, and then we gotta send a BFB, alright? Gotta send a BFB, come on, cl clear up all the stuff, thank you. And here we go, let's get Spike Manda. Let's see how much one does to a BFB, because if one of these can pop a BFB, then Ninja Farm Engineer is gonna be nothing compared, okay? It's actually gonna be sick. Alright, alright, pop it, pop it, pop it, maybe... Oh, not completely. 
It could, uh, I was getting close. I, I don't think it would have uh, handled well. Okay, so what I do want to see though is, wait, actually let me read here. Did the right side, let's go to towers, let's go to sniper monkey. X4, one, four, okay, so it's only the right side of the sniper that got above. But we can still, for, for the fun of it, place down the sniper, okay, up here. Let's see, right side, supply drop. Put this to strong real quick. And now I'm gonna send a CMG just to look how much faster it is. Look how it, okay, I'm telling you, Sniper might be broken, okay? This is my guess, Sniper might honestly be a new meta strategy. Like, I, I don't know which strategy exactly, don't, don't, don't quote me, but holy, it is amazing, dude. Like, wow. This is that like one of these snipers is, is doing is going to pop a CMG. I, I bet you it's gonna pop it. That is amazing. Holy. Alright, let's see here. The right side is gonna get a buff. Wait, let's actually super back this just for the fun of it. Whatever. Yep. Dude, this is actually gonna take care. Like a sniper in this can solo a, a, a freaking CMG. That that's crazy. Oh wait, no, does not not. Please, 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 please. Uh, I don't have enough. Or I don't have fast enough micro for this. Come on. Come on. Don't die. This is this feels weird. I don't know why, but. Look, look how it's just like kind of taking care it's just it's defending anyway let's sell these wow okay so there's this and a lot more stuff going on here because also the ng now right side a larger service area it's gonna give it more area i don't think this is gonna do much honestly but it's still pretty cool uh and then the balloon trap is gonna be yeah that's gonna be normal um let's see what else do we have Oh yeah, the Copra wired funds. Balloon adjustment is gonna be 650 now. Uh, everything else is still pretty normal. I still think Copra's gonna be OP. They didn't nerf it enough, but you know, it still is what it is. Uh, Wizard is now only 500, that's pretty cool. And Monkey Sense is 250 now, which used to be 200. You know, honestly, fair, fair. Or a Fireball, I mean, not Monkey Sense. Then we also have this, the Technological Terra, 20k. This is gonna be much more broken, um, so that's pretty cool. Let's let's send uh, actually let's send a BFB for the fun of it. There we go. Since the Pierce now uh, from uh, the zero one, the Pierce goes over to the Technological Terror. Basically gives it a small buff, but yeah, Technological Terror does appear to be able to sol or hold out. Yes, okay, so it can solo a whole CMG or a BFB. I mean, uh, to be fair, it might be able to solo a whole CMG as well. Let's tr check it out real quick. It's gonna do that and okay that did nothing all right well give me another one then boom no how many of these do i need i i don't like the technological terror ability not gonna lie look it, it feels kind of useless why, why can it not pop a cmg please no okay that is absolutely useless anyway I do think this update is pretty cool because right now you can test out theories and stuff. Like you can see how much exactly do I need to defend a certain rush on a certain map because I picked a new map. But you can pick any map you want for the sandbox mode, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I will see you in the next one and peace out. Life can be super happy, life can be super sad I'm trying super hard to separate the good and bad I go back to my future just to get to my past But knowing me, my DeLorean will probably crash Sometimes I get in a taxi when I ain't got no cash Worry if my credit card don't work, then I might have